welcome to the www.sakalavidya.com viewers so far actually we have been discussing tips and tricks on various engineering entrance examinations but only in that part you might have observed only some specific shortcuts or specific tips and tricks have been actually discussing so in those episodes but we received lot of requests requisitions from throughout our country or other even countries also we are getting so they requested us to post the problems chapter wise so we have decided so this episode on words we have to discuss each and every concept regarding to the chapter and as well as the problems regarding to the various engineering entrance examinations such as je means or advanced even mset or even any state engineering entrance examinations so i hope so by the request of our subscribers so we have been actually the following this strategy this episode onwards so i humbly request you that once again please subscribe to our youtube channel sakalavidya.com and just you may go through the our facebook that is also sakalavidya.com or you can find in www.sakalavidya.com so please subscribe to our www.sakalavidya.com and please share with this video or these videos to your friends also or your neighbors so if you have any suggestions so you can comment on us on or otherwise you can send the mail to the my twitter pedia at the rate of gmail.com please subscribe to our channel www.sakalavidya.com okay now today onwards we are going to the chapter wise mset problems okay today let us concentrate on the one of the chapters from calculus that is errors and approximations this is also very very important chapter regarding to the physics also for neat examination also those who are going to appear for neat examinations this chapter is a very very important as well as for even engineering entrance examination also so first so let us discuss the concepts which are involved in errors and approximations okay shall we go to the concepts okay let us discuss the actually the concepts which are related to the errors and approximation chapters after that so while doing the problems sometimes we can apply the even shortcuts also some tips and tricks also okay i hope you might have understand so now let us come to the this chapter errors and approximations suppose let us say y is equal to f of x y is equal to f of x b a continuous function continuous function on r real number system see on r suppose let delta x be the small error small error in x suppose there is a error small error delta x very negligible error very 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 small error let delta x be the small error in x then corresponding error in y b say delta y already in my differentiation chapter so first we have discussed what is delta x and what is delta y so i need need not repeat once again 
So, if you want any clarification more clarity about delta x and delta y, you can go through the my episode differentiation chapter in the same www.sakalavijja.com. Okay, then corresponding an error in y b delta y that is also error. So, that means now here y becomes like this y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x. Now, can you find out delta y from this one? Yes, why not? We can find out delta y. Here, delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus this y. What is y? y is f of x. So, we can write f of x plus delta x minus f of x. That means, error in y can be calculated using the formula f of x plus delta x minus f of x. This is the first formulation takes place in this case. I hope dear students you might have understand this is the first formulation in this chapter. So, that means, error in y delta y or sometimes you can say delta f also. So, this is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x. This is the first formula. So, you need not worry all these steps better you remember now for entrance examinations. So, this is the concept we have discussed. Let me repeat once again delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x or this delta y is also same as here you can remember like this note delta y is same as delta f. Some test books notation may be given as delta f do not worry. Now, here so we know that dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tends to 0 delta y by delta x. Okay. So, that means here this delta y again we can write dy by dx into delta x, but this is approximately equal to. But here delta y this dy is known as or dy by dy by dx dy is known as differential in y differential in y. So, this is replaced by here delta y is approximately equal to dy. So, therefore, we can write dy is approximately equal to dy by dx into delta x. So, this can be formulated now. Second formula we can remember. Here differential in y approximately equal to dy by dx is nothing but f dash x into delta x. This is second formula. Okay. This is first formula, this is second formula. Now, let us do one thing. Here, from first one, f of x plus delta x can be written as f of x plus delta y. Am I correct? Here, delta y is approximately equal to dy. So, this f of x plus delta x approximately equal to f of x plus dy. Now, from second formula do you expect what is dy f dash x into delta x. So, this can be written f of x plus f dash x into delta x. So, formulation f of x plus delta x 
approximately equal to f of x plus f dash x into delta x. This is the third formulation. So, let me revise this is delta y, this is dy, this is f of x plus delta x approximate value. So, this will be used to find out approximate values. Okay.